We've got everything from marshmallow beer to mystery Pringles in this food hall. Yeah, I've got food from Japan, food from Tesco, food from some local news agents. We've got some epic, epic products here. I'm going to show you. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK Vlogs and another food haul. Let's get right into it because I've got loads to show you today. Finally we had a package from Candy San arrive. So that's cool. Uh, the previous order that we had got sort of lost in the post so they refunded or gave a voucher and I reordered some products. So let's kick off with what I've mentioned in that intro. First up is this Pringles mystery flavour. Now normally mystery crisps would scare me because I'm scared of things like vinegar and cheese and onion flavour. Um, so I did have a little peek online and there's um, sort of rumblings that, it, that people think it might be something along the lines of, sort of skip forward five seconds if you don't want to know, yakisoba chicken. So, savoury and nice and should be interesting. Then next up, Tesco had absolutely loads of beers. They actually had a beer that I bought that was £5. Uh, I've got to say it was the nicest beer I've ever had. I actually really enjoyed it, which was um, a lemon sorbet sort of lemon meringue ice creamy beer. I've actually done a review, so I'll upload that in the near future. But yeah, I actually really liked it. Anyway, this other one that I got is marshmallow and chocolate stout called Layer Cake from Brewdog. Not expecting amazing things from that, but hopefully it will taste at least a little bit like marshmallow and chocolate. And I actually got three beers from Tesco. The last one is from Northern Monk, and it's called Stars and Stripes Peanut Butter and Jelly Porter. Um, I do sort of wish that all of these weird flavours of beers were like available in soda form, like it's, it's, it's so weird to me that there's not a big craft soda company in the UK making really weird flavours like the flavours of beer, really strange. News Agents Hall, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the snake winders, but I absolutely love these snake winders from Bobby's. So this one is the blue ras, like a ras, blue raspberry flavour, and then the original is like a snake one, uh, strawberry and cream. Um, I absolutely love these. They're, like, they're like 20p or something. They're really cheap and I absolutely love them. So whenever I see them, I definitely pick a couple up. Should we go through the Japanese stuff first? So I've got roast flavour pretz. Pretz is sort of like a savoury version of Pocky. So I'm expecting good things from that. And I think this was a... I think this was basically a cheesecake sort of biscuit bar. Um, looks and sounded really interesting. Uh, as with a lot of the Japanese stuff, I saw half forget what I've ordered by the time it's arrived. Then look at this absolute Kit Kat fest. I've got three kinds of Kit Kat. These are all in their new matte papery, um, environmentally friendly. Sorry about that, my camera ran out of battery there. So the first one I've got is banana caramel. That sounds absolutely insane and the packaging looks amazing. The next one I've got is peach parfait. And again, the packaging looks incredible. And then the last one I've got is, oh, was it sweet, uh, I, I can't remember if it was latte, cappuccino or sweet tea. It's, it's a hot drink, I'll, I'll check. Then next up, this is really cool. So I love a bit of Pocky and this is like a, look at this premium packaging. Um, so this is Pocky, it was like adult milk chocolate or something like that. It was called, or like thick adult, something like that. I'm a thick adult. Um, but yeah, you see like the coating on here is amazing and it's in this really nice premium pack which uh, is beautiful. This is plastic and foil, so don't know if that's bad for the environment maybe. By the way guys, have you seen my shirt? This is an Invincible t-shirt. Uh, Invincible debuted on Amazon Prime last week uh, as I'm filming this. Uh, go watch it, it's absolutely incredible. It's a very violent uh, superhero cartoon, so check it out, it is brilliant. Next up, a couple of local pickups. This was from a news agent, so this is Lion Limited Edition Wild. So I think this has got all the nuts on the outside. And then I got this from Co-op. This is, of course, the new Galaxy Chocolate Orange. Back to Japan, a couple of flavours of, well, Puchu, Pucho and Haichu. Um, I think this one was something like, it was something like Special Satsuma or something. Maybe Special Mandarin or Mandarin. Clementine, so it's like a fusion I think, and then this one, oh, similar, basically can't remember. 
I was absolutely over the moon to find this one in a, I think it was a, I think it was a South African store. Actually, I think it was a Jamaican store, but they had this, which I believe is South African. So Sparletta, we've done, a, I think, a couple of the Sparletta sodas on the channel. Um, really, really good brand. It's basically a South African brand, and it is by... Coca-Cola, so it's like Coca-Cola Corporation, and I've always seen the pine nut flavour online, but it's always been in like massive two litre bottles and really expensive or just out of stock, but I found an actual individual can. Uh, still did me on the price, it was £1.90, which I think was, a, was quite expensive, although I guess it is an import, and I would probably normally spend that on American sodas, so shouldn't really complain. Am I out of focus? This does not feel good. Um, and I also got the old, KA or car strawberry because uh, I've got the new one as well so we can do a comparison now. I was jazzed as heck to find the new Rubicon Raw. So this is the new Rubicon energy drinks. I've got all three. They use 20% fruit juice. So I've got orange and mango, raspberry and blueberry and surely this is going to be the best one. Cherry and pomegranate. Whoa. Also speaking of Rubicon, I've never seen this flavour before. Pineapple and raspberry. So that's the flavours of fruit salad like you know like the, the classic fruit salad chews, that's the flavour of that. So hopefully this will taste like that, which is really cool. Couple more sodas here, so I finally tried Bang Energy. There's a, again, there's a news agent downtown that actually sells Bang. It's an American energy drink, so it's imported. And I've got Frosé Rosé, basically don't know what flavour either, either of these are by the way, um, and Star Blast. Um, so if you have had these flavours, let me know. Are they good? Do you want to see reviews of them? Last few cupboard products, I think. So look at these, these are insane. So I got these from Ocado. We're having hot dogs one day this week and I thought we'd get the Dino's Famous because they had really good reviews and they've got a great Taste Gold Award. And then the jar came and oh my God. I mean, look at this jar, it's absolutely huge. So love the branding on it and I hope that the actual taste lives up to the reviews because they seem just incredible. Do you know what guys, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching this food haul. I hope that you're having a nice time. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.